Okay, I'd like you guys to write the problems down with me. We are starting with two. I'm going to erase that because I'm not on the line. Sorry. Two times x plus four in parentheses divided by three minus eight equals 32. And I want you to write it the same exact equation over here as well, because we're going to start it two different ways. Remember, was it Juan and Tuan? Mm -hmm. Just trying to remember what the two names were from our test. We're going to show that we can start this two different ways and get to the same solution. Okay, so with the first one, we're going to start by multiplying by 3. Where do you think I got the 3 from? It's the denominator here is 3, and I don't like working with fractions. I will not make this a secret. I don't like fractions. If I can avoid working with them, I do. This is one of my favorite tricks. When we're working with equations, we can clear denominators by multiplying by the LCM, the least common multiple. And so we are going to multiply, and I want you to put this in parentheses, both sides by 3, which is really 3 over 1. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. It's going to make some bigger numbers, because I'm going to have to multiply this 8, and I'm going to have to multiply this 32 by that 3, but then we don't have a denominator. Okay. So this whole thing here is what's being divided by 3, so it stays as is. Because when I multiply all of this by 3 and then divide by 3, it goes back to 2 times x plus 4. Why? Because 3 over 3 is 1. And if you multiply anything times 1, you get the same thing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This 8 is not divided by 3. So we have to multiply that 3 times that negative 8 and we're going to get negative 24. On the right side, 32 times 3 is 96. Next step, distributive property. So we're going to get 2x plus 8 minus 24 is equal to 96. After distributive, we look for combining. So we get 2x minus, oh, what is 8 minus 24? It's going to be 16. Negative 16 is equal to 96. Now we have to combine like terms across the equal sign. This negative 16 and this positive 96, they have to go together. This is a negative 16. When we go across the equal sign, we do inverse operations. Since it's negative, we're going to add it, right? And that gives us 2x is equal to 112. What are we going to divide by? Two. Yep. Do you guys feel like all the work we did pre-book is going to help us here? X is equal to 56. So those are the steps we need to take if we're going to clear the denominator and multiply by the least common multiple. This one, we're going to start with the 8. Okay, I'm going to leave the fact that this is a fraction alone, and we're going to add the 8 to both sides. So 2x plus 4 divided by 3 is still here, equals 40. I'm going to draw a line down between them to show it's really different. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply both sides by 3.
that's going to give us 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 120. What do you guys think is next? Distribute. So we get 2x plus 8 equals 120. We want to subtract the 8 because we're combining like terms across the equal sign. We get 2x is equal to... Uh, oh, you know what? That's not how the book did it. Is everybody writing in pencil? Yeah. yeah. Let's erase. They did something different that I didn't think of. Which means there's three ways we could solve this problem because mine would have worked anyway. But I want to show you guys what the book is showing. They divided by 2 here. Instead of distributing, since distribution is multiplication, they're doing the opposite of it, and they're dividing the 2 out. So they got x plus 4 is equal to 60. Which is probably one less step than the direction I was going. And then we get x is equal to 56. Okay, I would like you to open your book to page 11. On the bottom of your page, there is a try it. I would like you to write that problem on into your notes. I'd like you to solve it one way and your neighbor to solve it the other way. So discuss who's going to add or subtract first, who's going to clear the denominator first. Talk to each other.